Hello everyone. Let's see what I got here. This is a very unusual car for many many viewers out there except for my South American fellows and I'm including in them because I'm also South American as a native. This is a Volkswagen 1500 which was a 1982 model. Now whoever is familiar with this model I could say this was a Argentinian, Uruguayan, I'm not sure other countries out in the world in South America, especially in South America had sold this model. I'm not sure if Chile or Paraguay or Colombia sold this model, but I'm sure for fact in Argentina this was a super popular car. This if you are looking at this car right now, you're going to say, hmm, this looks very similar to other cars I've seen in the past. Well, you are very right. It says Volkswagen, but it looks more like a Hillman or like a Dodge or a Morris. Well, you are in the right track because this is, uh, I think was going more into the... Hillman models or Morris This was I'm not even sure why they ever call them Volkswagen don't I don't know those details But I know they were very popular back in the days They're very and this one in specific this model as you're looking at it right now the 143 has a little special section for me that I'm very fond of because this was my very first 143 scale that I ever purchased because it reminded me of my my youth this is uh as you see the details are very very good as I flip it around that is an Argentinian plate back in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s it has a big Vol Volkswagen <laughs> insignia in the grill it was a cute car. I liked it. I'm sorry. I liked it. You know, it was something that represented us, especially the southern co cone of South America. A lot. I'm not sure if any other parts of the world this exact model was ever sold. If you are familiar with it, let me know. But I am. <laughs> Some people must be, must be like, what the hell is this? When did Volkswagen ever came up with this model? Why did Volkswagen bought a Hillman model? <laughs> well, you never know anything until you see it. Flip it around. Classic four door. The difference between this and a Hillman or a Dodge was bigger headlights standing. You know, it looks more like in your face headlights. Really cute. You can see the details in the door handles. The bumper in the rear will all the way almost to the it almost reach to the end of the rear fender. Big bumper. Big big rear bumper. And the rear is very different from their uh, Hillman or Dodge roots. This was more like an 80s um, remodeling. You can see the headlight. The rear lights are bigger, more. It covers most of the rear and that section right there. If I'm not mistaken, that's the gas cap. A lot of these cars back in the days, they used to put the gas cap in the rear. I never thought it was a safe place to do it. Many brands had big issues with that. As we are very familiar with in America with the Ford Pinto. Ford Pinto had big issues with that. They used to, if someone was, used to crash them in a high speed or even in quite 40, 50 miles an hour, you know, pretty fast or it used to explode so it was it was quite noticeable for that 
and that's the Argentinian license plate back in the days. Again, let me know if you have one, if you collect them, if you like them. Hopefully, click thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell. It lets you know when more videos are coming up. And let me know what you think. Stay in touch. Take care. Bye-bye.